am, you know? Hey, hey Kevin. Um, it, yes. Guess what? It's time to end the show. Well, that too, but it's like less than 50 days till kickoff. Oh, what, for in the NFL? No, golf, motherfucker. Yes, the NFL. <laughs> what the I, you know what's fun? Duh, okay, I'm a, wait, but George... George, you know what I'm so excited about? Speaking of golf, uh, Rory McIlroy at 25 years old uh, just uh, won the British Open and stuff. Do you know his dad made a bet that he would do that yep. back uh, 10 years ago? He, he um, just knocked back 300K. Yes, just knocked back him and his three bet. buddies. Uh, let me uh, talk about this because there's two things that's exciting about football this year, everybody. NFL kickoff, obviously. Um, George's team looks, is, looks good. I'm hoping the Redskins will be rejuvenated. But there's another side of this, too. We will see for the first time the college football playoffs. I might be more excited th- about that than I am the damn fucking. <laughs> I, let me, I, I just want to see how it's going to fuck that up when there's two SEC teams still in the title game. <laughs> it, it could be. Yeah, it, it could be. But there's there, all this there realignment well going. And people are still going to be pissed off, and I'm going to look at you and be like, "Oh well." Yeah, I don't know though, man. It's going to be tough. I mean, it, it's going to be tough. There's still, they'll probably get two SEC teams there, but um, without a doubt, I mean, shit, you could have three SEC teams because it'll be the top four ranked teams. Mm-hmm. You could, you could possibly have three SEC SEC teams, and you know what? It, it rightfully so. Well, you know? it would be, it'd be but, kind of tough because think about this: all three, for in order for what you're speaking about to have happen, they'd all have to have one loss. Yeah, to have them to have them but that it, tightly wound up. I mean, because I'm thinking if you have one undefeated and then two with one loss, you'd have to have that means everyone behind them would have to have a loss to a tougher opponent. And well, here's the other thing: Florida State's returning the basically the same entire squad, and they just went undefeated. But it it happened that one time with with LSU, Auburn, and Bama. They all had one loss. It's in like one loss to one, one loss to one, and one loss to the other. Right, that's well, what maybe I'm saying. They would the... all have to have one loss in order for you to pull yeah. that off. Because if one of them's undefeated, yeah. then the other one would have two losses, I would think, and they wouldn't be there. Yeah, that's true. It, it's, it's going to be this interesting. Way. Is it possible? Yes. And just like you said, I'm more interested, as always, in college football than I am pros. So, mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell you another thing too. And, and we saw it this year a little bit with 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 the SEC not, you know. Uh, you know, winning it. I, the ACC is getting fucking strong as shit again, man. I mean, you got Florida State now. You're going to have Kevin, Clemson. This is a football gotta, segment. What? It is. That's what I'm saying. It's a football segment. I, and I, you know what? I'm I'm going to tell you what, man. The if you, you look at you look at you take Bama, LSU, and Auburn. Okay, mm-hmm. and then you look at the SEC this year. After you get past those three teams, the, the the SEC this year, I'm saying, fell off a lot. Florida was terrible. Everybody else, the only other team that was pretty decent was Georgia. Everybody else was fucking was subpar. Vanderbilt was one of the better teams in well, the SEC. I tell you what, look, in my world, there's only one big thing to worry about, and that's LSU because they actually have an athletic quarterback this year and not that statue that was Zach Mettenberg. Now, Zach Mettenberg <laughs> could throw the ball. but And the other thing is they got, uh, oh, who's the, quarter, the offensive coordinator? Cam... Cam, he used to coach the Dolphins. He was a head coach in the uh, NFL. He's the highest paid assistant coach. Cam, in, Cam, Cam Cameron. Yeah. He's, he's their mm-hmm. offensive coordinator slash quarterback coach, and he did phenomenal things with the one season he was with Mettenberger. So I can only right. imagine what he's going to do with the kids that come through there now. And I think that gives you a distinct recruiting edge. It, it does. I mean, I think, I think, and like I said, I think LSU and, and Bama and those teams are always, you know, with obviously with Nick Saban at Bama, you know, um, um, less miles at LSU. And those two programs are always going to succeed. You know, I mean, and Auburn's done the same thing too as of late. But I, I think, honestly, the ACC is 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 getting better with Florida State. I mean, Florida State's well, going to be the front runners. They did was kick uh, Maryland out. Right. I mean, they got <laughs> Maryland out, and then you know now you have. Uh, but you have who coming in? You got now you got Maryland. You saw how Miami started to turn the corner last year. Yeah, Clemson looked back. good. Miami's coming back. Clemson looks good. I mean, you've got a lot of good ACC teams now, and the conference is so fucking big. So in other so words, what we're getting at is we're 48 minutes in, college football and football's coming, and we're gone. <laughs> and we're gone. Anyway, guys, take it easy. George is shutting me the fuck up because he knows I'm going to be bitching when I got to edit this shit. But uh, as I would say, adios deuces. <laughs>